You may have heard meteorologists use the term meteorological fall or meteorological summer. Seasons that don't match up with what you traditionally see on the calendar. While it may sound silly, there's reasons we do this. First, let's define what the meteorological seasons are. Meteorological fall occurs September, October, and November. Meteorological winter is December, January, and February. March, April, and May are considered meteorological spring, and meteorological summer runs June, July, and August. These can differ a lot from the dates of the astronomical seasons. Those are the dates likely marked on your calendar. So why do we even use a meteorological version of the seasons? There are some good reasons. First, the meteorological version breaks each season down into three month chunks, while the traditional or astronomical seasons have differing amounts of days between each season because they're tied to the solstices and the equinoxes. Breaking the seasons up into these three month chunks simplifies record keeping and the ability to share data. The other big reason we mentioned meteorological seasons is that the weather in the meteorological seasons more closely resembles the weather that's expected during that season. I mean, do the 21 days of fall that occur during the month of December actually feel like autumn? The meteorological seasons are more in tune with the temperature changes and precipitation changes throughout the year. When we break up the weather this way, it's easier to keep track of the weather and the climatological changes that occur during the meteorological seasons. With the astronomical seasons or traditional seasons, leap year makes things a little more confusing too. Remember, there are more than 365 days in a year. It's about 365 and a quarter days, meaning every four years there's another day added to the end of February. That is known as a leap year. This means that the dates and times of the equinoxes and solstices can change from year to year in the astronomical seasons, where the meteorological seasons remain constant. So it may sound silly on the surface, but when you look at why we do it, there's a good reason meteorologists break up the seasons differently. Reporting from home, I'm meteorologist Ray Petlin.